2013, Subaru introduces the XV Crosstrack. This is based largely on the Impreza, but it's aimed at another demographic. They're trying to bring in the Gen Ys, you know, those 30-something guys, the ones who are still out running marathons, etc. Here you got the bikes, here you got the ATV. It'll tow 680 kilograms. It's raised up off the ground, more clearance than a Jeep Grand Cherokee. It's all about the active, adventurous lifestyle. So, what is Subaru's goal here? Surprise, they want to increase market share to around 3% of the Canadian market, they say. And the Crosstrek might just do it for them. This CUV adds an entry-level Forester-like vehicle to the lineup while also spicing up an otherwise boring Impreza. Thing to consider with the Crosstrek is that it is powered by the two-liter boxer engine, which is just fine. However, it is only 148 horsepower. Has two transmissions, CVT, automatic, and the five-speed manual. If you're looking for a little bit of jam, you want to go with the five-speed manual because at least that way you get to hold your RPMs. Crosstrek image is all about looks. It's tall, rugged, has eye-catching colors. Inside, though, it's dull by comparison. And while the interior is functional and neat, it just doesn't match the excitement generated by the exterior. Subaru compares the clearance of the Crosstrek to that of a Jeep Grand Cherokee, and frankly, that's the only place you should ever use those two names in the same sentence. Then again, Crosstrek is much less expensive, and its off-road ability should be taken more of as a suggestion than a fact. <laughs> So while the Crosstrek is based on the Impreza, it is not meant to be just an Impreza trim level. In actual fact, this is more of a little brother SUV to the larger Forester, one of Subaru's most popular models. However, it is smaller, it is more fuel efficient, it is sportier, and it's meant to bring a whole new class of customer to this segment. Subaru Crosstrek. Wilder than an Impreza, milder than a Forester, with a price somewhere in between. Will it bring new customers to the brand? If looks count for anything, then yes, I think it will. I mean, there'll be some customers that won't want to leave the body on frame. We have a great exterior for them for that, and we're going to work hard to keep them in the family. Uh, at the same time, we haven't walked away from what Pathfinder is. With 5,000 pounds of towing, with a four-wheel drive system that you can still lock in a four-wheel drive, which is uh, unique in the segment, uh, we think we'll still deliver that rugged uh, vehicle that customers want and need.